love into it. They love they both love being able to swing on landing, but the big thing here is DDD really hates getting hit by Falco. One good time. But it's gonna be DDD who starts things off hot with that up throw. Oh, trying to end him already! It's trying to end him already! DDD, what are you doing? Adam is going already off the rip, trying to end his stock 71% right away! Now, it's worth highlighting here in Loser Semifinals that these are the two players who eliminated Light. True story. And it was Adamus who did it from the winner's side. Oh my god. And he's going to be looking a little bit sad losing that stock here in the loser's side. That was, he had such a dominant start. And then, until they found a couple backers. Oh, wait, the jab lock. Oh, he read the roll away too. He almost had that there. Bruh, why? They, they are swinging. That's what they gotta do. You see how fast paced this match can go. In spite of how DD is typically more of the zoner, more keeping pace, like Gordo do the word. Here, you got a disjoint. You know Adam is gonna use it really well. Absolutely, as he continues to get that damage on. It is so ridiculous. Like, just, oh, right, gets the command grab, and immediately answering that Phantasm, not waiting a single second as he gets pushed out, trying to go for the most, like, aggressive Phantasm upstage. You gotta catch it for there. But luckily, Adam has recognized it. So they on the hunt trying to get these kills off. He knows that regardless of how heavy DDD is, you keep putting enough blows into him, he's going down. What? Bro! Okay! Till they out here performing the most devious look I've ever seen from Lex. <laughs> he went off stage and wall jumped and used Nair after his invincibility was gone. Who does that? That was so smart! You wanna know what that was, AJ? That was the wake-up call. Because that wasn't good DI on that Nair. That was you best be awake every moment of this set. Absolutely, as we see, he's all oh, there's the back air, couple off airs, and confirms you got a big body and I got big combos. That's gonna close that out till they take in the first game. That if you talk to if you went and watched the end of that match, compared to how that set started, Adamus looked like he was about to put on a highlight reel. And then he couldn't close out the stock until they shut it down so fast. It was actually insane. Can't stop, won't stop. Rise and grind, baby. Also, to the person who was asking, Scott is the one who put Tilde into losers. One of the uh, uh, one of the better Luigi's near it. He's our uh, kinetic Luigi, but he did go down to Suarez earlier. That's why you don't see him right now. Tilde is standing still. It, it's just, he's just standing he's there for his menacingly. Moment well, you, you saw what happened in game one. Mm -hmm. You saw what happened when Adam Misk was able to punish his stepping even a little bit out of line. I mean, what is neutral to an up tilt, right? Oh, reads the air dodge down, gets the reset Nair. He keeps this damage up, and he's now capitalizing on the jump. As you can see, Adam is also out here trying to snatch up some st uh, stock steals. Go, oh wait, there's the jump. He covered it, couldn't really get too much else off of it though. Yeah, the fact that forward air didn't put into Pratt Fall is actually a big deal in that situation. But beating out the armor until they managing to make sure that he keeps his play at the ledge. And up smash guaranteeing the first stock in excellent form. Catching him with the jump from ledge with that up smash. He knew that he was going to come up from ledge. Down air, though, big capitalization. Started to keep that damage on a couple up airs. Tilde is like the only person who gave multiple up airs from Adamus respect. That is huge in this matchup. Don't let him just get that for free. Figuring out where you can swing is a oh really big God. deal because you know for a fact that Tilde is going to be swinging at a disadvantage. Why not join him? Especially when you're DDD. We've seen how well Adamus is able to swing while he's got Rage behind him. These aerials are nothing to scoff at, and with the aerial space available to you on Hollow Bastion, <gasps> you gotta take advantage of it. Going for the dash attack was so risky, and Tilde makes you pay the price. Bruh, that back air hit his face from the other side. Like, what was that? Speaking of trying to hit some things from the other side, Til <laughs> uh, Adam is looking for the big force match the other way. You can follow him off stage. There he is, looking for the down air, though. Trying to get the reversal up air. Tilde now has the ledge trap. Yeah, no, that was a really rough reversal. Adamus did not need to give up that situation like that because now Tilde's finding that combo. Look oh. at the damage. Oh, my God. And if he teched in place, that down air was going to be another big hit. Single hit for there. He tried to find him again. Down to it at least from Adamus. Going to get him out. Adamus going super deep. Then Tilde trying to reverse it. All right, you take that in a gift basket. If he wants to go off stage, now you have a chance. Yo, this is, a, this is a pretty big difference considering what we saw in game one where it really went to last hit, neck and neck. Here, this is Tilde's game. This Tilde's got this game too, and it's all but decided on the scoreboard. Oh, there's a back air already closing it and out. There it is on the scoreboard. 
That is just incredible play so far from Tilde. Just keeping the damage up where he needs it. All he needs to do is get one good reward on hit. He needs one good up tilt. Sometimes not even up tilt. He just gets the drag down there and he keeps that damage going. Speaking of drag downs, there's that forward air. You get that up throw once again. Get that DI mix up. Don't even need it. You knew he was the air away to make sure he didn't get hit by the laser. And then he catches him with the back air. Oh, is it time? It's looking like it. Adamisk has been putting a lot of effort into his secondary to accompany King DDD. And in proper pink fashion, the Adamisk Greninja makes its live appearance here and hold the line. I have not seen this. And honestly, I believe it's going to work. I've heard his crown is kind of nutty too, but I don't think you bring crown out in this matchup. He's also got a pretty flat Shulk, but... We got the frog we gotta worry about. I mean, we haven't been seeing much. I mean, we're on Hollow Bastion. We haven't seen much of the Sora. I know Pelka's pretty much the only solo Sora all day. That character still needs some more work. It will get there eventually. But you know what? I don't disagree with this because you go with the character who has better buttons up close. You can fight. You have the dash attacks. You can play more grounded rather than trying to constantly win in these air to air trades, which he hasn't really been able to get so far. I'm very glad that you brought that up because this is a character that's going to punish hard on any of those wayward jumps into the air. And you know, as a Spacey, as a Falco, you will live and breathe by your aerial punishes. Exactly. Oh, speaking of that air punish, almost trying to find a forwarder right there. That Nair putting him deep back off stage. Ooh. That sucks because he definitely looked, I think he was going for a sh either a Shuriken stall or the sh uh, or trying to go for a shadow step. And that pulled you back in because of that whole special move property that pulls you into the uh, the mirror. Unfortunate, right now, Tilde will take that because he's currently up two games. He's currently up a stock and he's currently in the middle of mixing Atomisk. He's trying to fight his way to lose his finals. He's trying to get his way over to Lingling. He try, he, yeah, he's trying to punch a ticket to fighting Lingling Ling for sure. And he, like, like we said before, this is the number two seed. He's the one who took out Light. So pretty much, it was one or two of them you had to fear potentially making that big loser's run. Adam is currently on the receiving end of it right now. He gets caught by Phantasm in the back here. Till they look like he's trying to take this 3-0. Tilde's looking really comfortable in this matchup as well, the way that he's approaching it. It's a lot of very close to the ground aerials. He's not overextending too heavily because he's finding a lot of value in juggles. Anytime that Adamus finds himself in the air, He's paying the price in big damage. Exactly. Oh, trying to go for the grab. Adam is not within range to get the up tilt off air. And the aggressive up B actually nets up a boatload of damage. And that's going to be a bad. No, actually not with the back air. It's okay, though. I can do it once more. Like right now, Tilde working on a three stock. Yeah, this is a very dominant game coming in right now. Adam is trying to make this Greninja work. He's going to maybe look for a back air. Oh, I actually kind of like what he did. He did the aggressive down air, expecting. Ooh. Yeah, you did. Hey, you did. I think he was expecting him to go off stage to try to go for that back air to capitalize on him with the reversal down air, but that was a that was just that was just cleaning house. That yeah. was just cleaning house right there. That the, the Greninja was a good solid attempt, but till they out here with this fox, uh, not this fox, this Falco man, looking insane. I'm actually super scared for both Zamba and Ling Ling right now. You have every reason to be scared for them because Tilde is on fire tonight. And I think that loser semifinal set really cemented how confident he is playing. But he's got to keep it up. And, you know, we're crawling along in this bracket. He's got to keep up a performance like that as we move into losers finals. Yeah. We're asking a lot of a player because he had to make it into this top eight from the losers side. Mm -hmm. And it's been quite a long trek for him. And, a bit, and we saw in that light set, he started to get a little bit scared. Be like, he was putting a lot, a lot more air dodges. Where he had a lead, he was starting to back off. But when he gets a hit, that's the big thing. After that set, he's rebounded so well. He's like, okay, I got through light. I got dealt with, I, I dealt with the problem. And now I can work and hold my advantage to get my damage where I need to. And also, this is what we got received. Rob is big. Ah, uh, yes. This was a note we received from the crowd. Wow.